Good morning guys. I did a Saturday day in the life vlog recently and I really enjoyed doing that, especially during this time, just to sort of document Nora being this age and also what life is like during this global pandemic. And so I thought I would do a weekday day in the life, which is what I'm doing today. So, so far this morning, I've stripped our sheets and thrown them in the wash. I have sterilized Nora's passies that she used over the past 24 hours. I've been trying to get better about doing that every morning because otherwise it gets away from me. I'll link the um, sterilizer that we use. You put some water in the bottom and pop it in the microwave and the heat and steam sterilizes them. Um, I got her dressed. She's in an adorable outfit today, aren't you? Yes, and it's a really nice day outside and I've gotten myself, I did my skincare routine, brushed my hair and put on a fresh pair of clothes. So we're just winning this morning. Um, it's a really nice day out. I hope we're able to take a walk a little bit later it's 82 degrees. Oh, it's hot. Um, if it's 82 degrees now, it's about to be like really warm. It's definitely starting to feel more and more like summer. I'd like to work on getting some cleaning tasks done today, which is part of the reason why first things first, I put the um, sheets and I actually put my t our towels from the bathroom, our master bath into the washing machine as well. So those will get all clean and hopefully that will motivate me to get a little more cleaning done. Our house is slightly a mess, but I'm slowly chipping away at it. I'm slowly chipping away at it. Anyway, I wanted to welcome you to my weekday day in the life, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, I'm starting my day as I almost always do with a big cup of water, and I'm putting some of this true lemon that I've been talking about, which is just basically crystallized lemon juice, and this is this big bubble cup that I've talked about many times. I'm getting that all mixed up. I'm still really enjoying that and have been drinking so much more water because of it. This is a lot easier to do when I'm not doing it one-handed. But make sure you're drinking your water. I know sometimes for me, like I'm used to drinking water and I grab a cup of water every time I go out somewhere. And since I haven't been going out somewhere, I noticed that I wasn't really drinking enough at all. Um, so I've just been trying to make a concerted effort to make a big glass of water every morning and then refill it throughout the day. And adding the true lemon really helps because it just gives it a little bit of flavor. So make sure you're drinking your water. <laughs> All right, Nora's down for a nap and I just organized and cleaned out our pantry. I really should have done a before shot, but to be honest, I was so <laughs> embarrassed. It was such a disaster. Um, and there was food in here that expired in like 2016. So not, not tons of expired, but there were enough. Um, anyway, it's not beautiful or very it doesn't have any kind of aesthetic but I just wanted to be able to see everything that we had um, because I felt like I was buying duplicates for example tomato soup tomato soup tomato soup like I have a bunch of tomato soup um, and I didn't know that we had it so I just took I used to be that all everything on this bottom shelf was all on just this half so you can just imagine what that looked like. Hot mess, disaster, you couldn't see anything. And so I spread it all out so that you can, I can actually see like what we have. It's not in, it doesn't have a lot of rhyme or reason. And I'd like to get those three tiered stands where they look like stadium stands that you put cans on. I'd like to get some of those, but I wanted to see what we had first. Then up here, this is sort of like some storage stuff. These are, there's some like lemonade in here, but, but tea bags for iced tea. And then, um, Oh, that's the ice maker. I thought it was the garage door and I was surprised that Riley was home already. Um, the, this is, has some pasta in it. This is like some random kind of baking stuff and hot chocolate. This is kind of snacky foods. These are like single prunes that Riley loves. Fruit snacks that I love. Um, we have a couple different mixes and then some bagged foods. Down here, this needs to, I need to go through this. These are all of our tea. Both of these are things of tea our crock pot, our mixer, and this is all of my baking stuff. Um, and then down here on the floor, we have some distilled water that I use for a couple different things. We use these wine boxes for our Nespresso. There's our Nespresso um, like recycling bag that we fill up. This all needs to be cleaned up, but at least the food section is nice and neat and I can actually see. And then on the back of the door, I put 
like our refill for the salt and packet stuff and then spices, spices, spices. This is going to be, um, I kind of made this into the shelf that I access frequently. So I placed a Walmart pickup order today and ordered another one of these instant coffees for our whipped coffee we've been making. So hopefully I can put that right here. These are our reusable straws. You know, I've been doing true lemon all the time. This is the true lemon with, um, strawberry, the lemonade. This is cinnamon sugar, this little container I bought at Hobby Lobby years and years ago. And I just mix cinnamon sugar and put it in there. And then these are um, just some other things that we don't use all the time, but I wanted to have a shelf that was easily accessible for things that we do use. So it feels good to have the pantry organized. <clears throat> it's not, like I said, it's not gorgeous. Oh, here's the rice from that giant 25 pound bag of rice. It's not beautiful, but it's functional. And that's what's important right now is that I can actually see what we have. We have more than enough soup being that it's May and it's 82 degrees <laughs> outside. Um, but anyway, that's what I've been up to for the past 25 minutes or so while Nora's been napping. I will show you my fridge before. <laughs> um, we are getting groceries today, so it's not super lean, but a little bit leaner than normal. It's obviously not full. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it out, wipe it down, and get it ready for some more food for the week. So I've just cleared out. My fridge is beeping at me because the door is open. I've just cleared it out and I'm wiping the whole thing oops, sorry, down um, and you can see like you see how dirty it gets. How does the inside of a fridge get so dirty? So I, I'm just kind of doing it bit by bit just so that the food doesn't keep, doesn't stay outside of the fridge for too, too long. But. It looks so much better so I'm, now I'm going to replace the food in there and then I'll do the other. It just gets so grimy. See how grimy it gets? It's gross. I used to do this all the time. Um, pretty much once a week before we would pick up our groceries but since Nora came along I haven't been as diligent so I'm glad I'm getting it done now. Look at this. We live in filth. Check it out, we're no longer disgusting people. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in, nice and neat. Oh, this is such a silly task, but it feels so good once it's done. All right, look how good that looks. And it's actually clean, like when you open it up, the drawers are actually clean. Wow, that was filthy, y'all, like actually disgusting. <laughs> I want to get, I'm going to, now that, since Nora is still sleeping, I'm going to go ahead and do, um, what are these things called? The shelves. Oh my goodness. Look at us. So I have some of the stuff we use often here. And then these are things we don't use quite as often. And this is kind of just random, whatever fit. These are all our mustards and salad dressings. And then this is some cheese and jam and strawberry ice cream topping. Look how good that looks. All right. Now, let's work on the freezer. All right, check this out. Have some frozen veggies down here, some frozen bread, meat, breast milk, some frozen meals, cookies and ice cream, and I wiped it all down. This was even more disgusting than the fridge, but it feels good. It's all done, and the pantry. Here's what it looks like under where Nora sits. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep giving her toys and she just keeps throwing them on the floor. Sadly, um, this cake that I was so <laughs> proud of has become insane looking. One slice left, I think it's time to just throw it away because it's pretty nasty. Now that it's been, I don't know, five days since I made it, but I just wanted those of you who are just as proud of me as I am of myself to see it one last time. 
Goodbye. I'm sitting here with Nora and we are going to order some Etsy orders. <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do. Hey. <laughs> Riley's back from work. And we just got our, well he picked up groceries on the way home from work and we got a really good grocery pickup this time. We ordered for about 10 days thinking that a lot of things would be out of stock and we'd get about a week's worth, but we got almost everything. So this will be great. This will last us about a week and a half. So I'm just going to briefly show you. We got a couple different kinds of lettuce, some butter, a pineapple, finally some flour. I've been trying to get flour for weeks. Some rye bread some kombucha, yogurt, feta cheese, Swiss cheese, this is cheddar cheese, a bag of apples, some corned beef for Rubens, some bacon, carrots, asparagus, um, small, what are these things called, cherry tomatoes, limes, taco shells, some sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. We got some black beans, some sauerkraut, some more instant coffee, which is critical. Um, some of these little Ritz toasted chips, a couple of desserty things, Funfetti brownies. My favorite are the triple chocolate, the Ghirardelli triple chocolate brownies, but they were out, so we're gonna try those. Some little, um, what are these things called? Rice Krispies? This is the Rice Crisp, this is the generic brand. But I'm gonna make Rice Krispie treats some peppers, an onion, zucchini, cucumbers, a couple of other apples. I don't think I meant to do that. We meant to get more than one avocado. I don't know what happened. We only got one. Some of this knockoff um, everything but the bagel seasoning that is typically from Trader Joe's. Some grapes, cooking oil, some chips, hamburger buns, um, bananas and goat cheese, strawberries, some frozen blueberries, some pretzels, sweet potato fries, um, chicken under here, a frozen pizza. Riley got a couple of scouring pads and things for cleaning the grill. And I think, oh, and some English muffins for breakfast. So that was, I feel so, I'm so excited. Aren't you excited, Ry? Yeah, I'm really hungry. I know, and we, you know, this is the first time. It's it's good. It's good for. It's good to see that there's some sense of normalcy being restored. Um, I won't over order anymore, because now we're getting everything that we're wanting. Whereas in the for the past six weeks, every time we order, we've been over ordering because we get so much less. And so this is great. This is really great. So there you go. There's our grocery pickup. I don't think I shared this. This is something that I ordered as well, this is a birthday cake Kit Kat. I showed in a recent vlog the mint and chocolate Kit Kats. Kit Kat's like my favorite candy bar, so I was excited to try this because it's limited edition. I think I've tried to get it for a couple of weeks and it, it's out of stock each time, so I'll let you guys know what I think about it. it sounds really good. Riley had leftover tacos for lunch and I had, or well, I'm making, I made, <laughs> Reuben sandwich, I'm about to go eat it. All right, here's what the Kit Kats look like. Now let's taste them. Oh, that's good. It just tastes like you're eating like pure Funfetti icing. Yes, it does. I don't taste any kind of wafer. It tastes like Funfetti icing. Which I like the crunch of the little sprinkles. It's not a bad thing. There's crunch? Yeah, those little sprinkles are kind of crunchy. Mm-hmm. I think the mint chocolate one is better. This is just like so sugary. Very sweet. This is just like pure like eating Funfetti icing, which I yeah. used to do all the time. It does taste like icing. It's good though. If you're a Kit Kat per person, <laughs> what? If you're a Kit Kat person and also you like birthday cake flavored things or icing, you'll like this. Let's go. I'm about to unload the dishwasher and these are all going to go in the dishwasher for the first time. They're all of the little spoons that we have for Nora. These came in a pack. These came in a pack. They crack me up. And then this, these came in a pack. So we're going to put these all in the dishwasher because she has been starting solids. So fun. Alright, I finished cleaning my kitchen. I didn't 
I, I wiped down all the countertops, which you can see. Look at this. Oh, and also, <laughs> nor, you hear Nora talking. While I was cleaning, I cut myself on, while I was doing dishes, I cut myself on a knife. And my dad, this is such a cute dad gift. He brought me this um, box of Disney Band-Aids the last time he came to visit. So I grabbed one. Anyway, I did wipe down all my countertops and they were that was gonna be in the time lapse, but one of my friends called. So I answered the phone and I was time lapsing using, using my phone. Nora. Cute. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and tidy Nora's nursery. I just finished cleaning Nora's room, changed her diaper changing pad and um, the cover, just tidied everything up, wiped everything down, and gave it a quick run over with the vacuum. So it's all reset, ready to go. All right, I'm on to my office, just wiping everything down. Cleaning off my workspace. It always feels so good to get this all clean since I spend a couple hours in here every day. All right, and I've reset my office. I even vacuumed and I moved all the Etsy stuff that was in the front room back here, just because I'm tired of looking at it in the front room. So my office is reset as well. All right, I've just cleaned Nora's bathroom as well. I wiped everything down, scrubbed the bathtub, washed her towels in here, and restocked. Looks really good. Mopped and everything. So another thing to tick off my list. Hey guys, it is 9.05. I'm having some coconut yogurt. This always reminds me of studying abroad in Spain because my host mom, the first one, always had coconut yogurt in her fridge. It was the first time I'd ever had that flavor. And um, she was very, we, you got one every couple of days. And you definitely, if you went and took it, she would be like, "Where? Why? I had four coconut yogurts, so we knew you get one coconut yogurt when you were offered your coconut." <laughs> but I really loved it, and so whenever I taste it now, it's funny how tastes can just like take you back. Um, Riley's putting Nora down right now, and I'm just I'm feeling good, so I'm just gonna keep going because our house really needs to be cleaned, and if I have the energy right now, I might as well do it. All right, I just folded all of Nora's laundry. These things need to get hung up, but everything else, all her little sleepers and little shirts and pants are all folded. I'm gonna go ahead and put them away. Storm update, a um, lot of lightning, really cool lightning. Um, I don't think there's been any hail, but it's um, pretty, Pretty windy out there. I don't think the storm has really gotten here yet. That lightning is still on the way. So I'm gonna go inside. Looks awesome though. She woke up to nurse. So I fed her. Still a little out of it. Hi. She's awake enough to smile. Hi. 
she was asleep on me. I was trying to show you that she was asleep on me, but she's always camera ready. She still looks a little cozy and sleepy. I know. She's still cuddled up. I know her. <laughs> How does she know? Nora, I like to sleep. It's so she cute. She's sound asleep. Hey guys, I just got in bed and I left my vlogging camera out in the living room and I forgot to wrap up this vlog, so I figured I would do that now. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time, bye.